Hey guys, Donnie here, and welcome to this edition of Big Drone Flyer 77. Hey, welcome back guys. Hey, today I got something pretty special today. Uh, this is courtesy of RC Moment, and I have the SEMA X8 Pro GPS quad, so... I'm going to do a quick unboxing here so you guys can see what's inside. So let's take a look at this thing. Alright. There we go. This will be my first time looking in here as well. Oh, it's got two boxes inside. Cool. That's got to be the quad, I bet. It's got to be probably accessories. Let's set the box off to the side here. Let's check out the first one here. Get this tape off. There we go. All right, we're upside down. Here we go. Okay, we got the TX. Um, looks like we got the TX. Uh, we got uh, prop guards. Uh, we got the clip for the uh, cell phone for the TX. Uh, looks like we got charger and props in here and it looks like we got eight set of props so which is pretty cool uh, i'm not going to dig that open right away it looks like we got the wrench the to, to put the to put the props on so there's a wrench and screwdriver uh, we got the caps uh, for for uh for putting on top of the the propellers and we have an sd card reader and let's see uh, this little adapter thing came out of there, but it uh, looks like we got adapter for um, here in the United States because it's got the European adapter. So this just clips on there so you can use it here in the United States, So, which makes it pretty nice. Let's go ahead and I'm going to take a look at this. Let me set this box out of the way here. Take a look at this bird here. Let's see if I can get this open. Go. This one's upside down too. Okay. All right. Okay. We have a look at the owner's manual there, and then you can see on the back for Android system and for uh, iPhone use. So uh, that way you can download the app for the Wi-Fi FPV for the camera here. So um, looks like a pretty neat looking uh, quadcopter. Looks uh, a lot like the original uh, X8, but it feels a lot more heavier. So let's see if I can get this open here. All right. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it is pretty nice. Looks like the lights are a little bit different on the top. And then we got a proprietary battery, um, which I'm not a big fan of them, but uh, you know. Uh, you know, as long as it's working pretty good, I just wish it wasn't because I got so many different uh, battery packs, so that way I'd have spare batteries. So I wish they would kind of send uh, at least an extra one of these batteries would be nice. So um, I would probably recommend ordering an extra battery since it only comes with one. So let's take a look here. What else we got? We, looks like we've got the legs. I believe those just snap on here. Oh, those just slide right in. Oh, that's pretty cool. Slide in and lock right there. There's a little locking lever so you can you can push it back and slide the leg back off. That makes it pretty neat. I like that so you don't have to screw them in there. Let's just put them on right now. So there was the battery. That uh, snapped in there. The other ones. Snaps right in. And it snaps right in. That's pretty nice. Let me set this battery in here. Looks like the battery just slides right in here. It's got a little button to be able to pull the battery back out, but it slides right in, locks in, and then you just press the button and slide the battery back out. So it makes it pretty nice. Pretty easy. And the battery's pretty light compared to the original uh, battery that the X8 had. That one had quite a bit of weight to it. This feels actually really light. Uh, just the quadcopter feels a little heavier, and that's probably the GPS system that's uh, inside there. 
here we got the Wi-Fi FPV camera and uh, by reading up on this uh, it does have uh, adjustment uh, on control so you can uh, control that little camera it's a 720p camera so that way you can adjust it up or down so we'll try that function later when we go for a flight uh, you also have uh, SD card slot on the back of the camera which makes it nice so that way you can get uh, straight footage instead of going through the phone footage because uh, everybody knows with that uh, Wi-Fi FPV um, that uh, 2.4 gigahertz it just you know you get a lot of uh, delay in that so at least I've experienced in the past with those so I'm glad that they went with the solid uh, SD card uh, for the camera on that part so this looks pretty simple it just slides on like the original um, this slides right here from looks like from back to front no actually uh, front to back excuse me there we go locks right in has a little button right here so that way you can go and release it and take it back off really quick for uh, quick storage and then it just plugs in right at the bottom here so that's pretty nice and there's no other uh, separate button to turn the camera on so it looks like it's going to be on as long as it's plugged on plugged in here it looks like it's going to the power is always going to be on so I don't see no separate power for the camera like uh, like the old models so uh, we'll have to check all this out when we go take it for a flight uh, I'm gonna pause you guys here for a minute so I can get all these parts out and I'll put the the propellers on and we'll see how those snap in I heard these just snap in and and twist so it's supposed to be pretty easy so uh, hang in there for a minute guys I'll be right back okay guys I just took a quick peek at the manual this is really simple and these just uh, snap in twist and they lock and using the little tool I got that out and uh, it's pretty cool because all the props are all on this little uh, foam uh, uh, piece here to keep them together so you got one set all B and the other sets all A so I'll show you this real quick here I'm on a B side here and you just line up the groove with the groove on on the motor here so you just slide it down which would be uh, actually the the wider side is going to go face or uh, face up excuse me wider side face up and you'll be able to tell by looking at the propeller so if it goes that way you're not going to fly <laughs> you'll be flying straight down so anyways this just goes and uh, slides right on here okay and then you're going to take your little wrench here hold it into place twist and turn so it's locked in okay uh, let's do the other a side or b side excuse me real quick so we're going to slide this down there put the wrench we're going to put that on there and twist so that's already locked in already so let's go and get the, the A's here, get a couple of the A's out. Okay, let's do this A sign, and it's the same thing. So we are going to slide this one down if I can see. I apologize, the camera lights in my eyes. So there's two different sizes right here. There's a big side and a smaller end, so it's a smaller end that you're going to use of the wrench. So let me lock this in real quick. Okay, that's locked in. Pretty quick guys, uh, the more you do this, I'm sure you'll probably have it locked in faster than me. So, um, so there we go, locked in and ready. Now we got the little caps, we got these little uh, uh, ends on it so you can line it up and, and just snap it in. It's kind of dark on top here so it's hard to see with the light in my eyes. So uh, bear with me here, I don't want to break the little end here. You don't want to force it if it's not going in there. Okay, that one just went in. Yeah, you don't want to bend those little pieces or you won't be able to have a cap. Even though these aren't necessary, but they're, you know, they're for looks. So, let me get the other ones on real quick. Alright, pretty simple. You know, I, I bet you probably, you know, if I time myself, it'd probably be like a minute just to set everything up because everything's quick snapping there's little levers on everything so everything just slides on and off there's no screwing anything on same with the camera everything just plugs in on this thing which is pretty awesome you know and same with like the, the battery just slides in and out it has a little button right there so 
So we're going to look at the TX. I wish it had telemetry on it, but it don't. So there's no meter on there. So you will not know uh, what your distance of range is unless you have like a range finder like, like we use when, um, you know, we're, we're shooting rifles and stuff. I mean, if you got a spotter out there to go and range find it like that, that's great. But if not, you're going to have to fly a line of sight. And, uh, you know, if you've been doing this for a while, you kind of have an idea how many meters everything's away. Uh, so far, this is saying it's supposed to have a distance of 200 uh, meters, a controlled distance. Uh, you know, two to three, I think it says 200 meters if, I, if I'm right. Um, but as in uh, Wi-Fi range, I think it's only like 70 meters. And it could be less because you guys know how these Wi-Fi cameras are. Um, you know, the 2.4 gigahertz is just not a very, um, you know, strong uh, signal for these. And you're going to have hesitation. You're going to have dropouts, I'm sure. We'll, we'll test it and find out. Um, you know, I wish, you know, kind of wish they would up their game and put brushless motors on it and would have went with uh, 5.8 gigahertz. You know, a lot of these companies are doing that now. SEMA seems to stay in just the regular toy range. Uh, I'm surprised they went with GPS on there. So we'll have to see what happens. Um, I have seen a few of the guys test these out. And the experience wasn't uh, quite what they expected. So I'm going to have to take it out in the field and see if I'm having the same uh, issues with flight. So we're going to try to calibrate this thing up and uh you know see how to calibrate it good you know because some of these uh have problems calibrating uh not just i'm not talking about just sema but uh any uh you know quadcopter you know there's there's certain ways of doing it you know some of them you gotta you gotta go and uh, uh rotate them super fast when you're calibrating some of them you gotta go slow and go in a circle and you know so we're gonna try everything out and uh and see what's the best method so um, you know that's pretty much uh, my next uh, deal here so I'm not gonna put the prop guards on uh, which are pretty neat because they do just snap on so they just they snap right on and slide right back off so you can put them on and then you can snap them right back off so you, there's no screwing those on either so if you're never flown before you want to save your propellers you know that'll work for you and uh you know but anyways all right guys i'm gonna go and charge up this battery and take it out in the field and see see what it does we'll go from there so stay tuned donnie from big drone fire i'm back again here look like i got a, little, a couple little bugs on here okay i'm out here in the park so um i'm gonna go and do a calibration on this so what i'm gonna do is i took the legs off so i could do kind of a fast calibration and then I can just snap them back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the bird. Okay, it came on. I'm gonna turn the controller on. I'm gonna bind it up, down. Okay, light stopped flashing here. So now to calibrate, to do a compass calibration for the GPS, I'm gonna hold down and press this once. Okay, the lights are flashing so I can let go of it now. So I need to do this. Let's see, it's still going slow. Okay, now it's going fast, so I need to go up and do it like this. Okay, until it's solid. So now we're solid right now. All the lights are solid, so now we're waiting for GPS that will turn green. And then we know we have a satellite lock. So I'm going to go ahead and put the legs on. Let me snap those on real quick. Slide this on. Apologize for the noise. Someone's doing construction over here, but this is the only park I can get to at the moment. So, slide these on. Looks like we got some ants over here too as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calibrate the gyros. So we're going to go down in the corner. So we're flashing right here. If you can see that, I'm shading it right now. As soon as it's done flashing, it should be calibrated. Let's see if it, yep, went to solid. So, okay, now we're just waiting for, for it to get uh, GPS lock. Okay, guys, I guess these stopped flashing. So the, the lights are green right here, solid. Everything's solid, so we should have GPS. 
Um, I'm going to go and put my cell phone. I have a wire connected to it because my battery is low. I'm going to get to charge it real quick before I left the house. So I download the app. It's just the SEMA app. And uh, let me connect it to Wi-Fi real quick. Let me find the app. Okay, let me find the Wi-Fi first. Okay, there it is. Wi-Fi. That should be it. Wi-Fi. Yeah, FPV Wi-Fi. Okay, let me get out of that. All right, guys. For some reason, I can't get the app on right now, but I went ahead and checked. This is how you go and um, this is how you start the video. And you just uh, hold it for a few seconds, start the video, and on the camera it turns red. The light turns red, so you're recording. Hold it for a few seconds again, and it'll shut the camera off. And this right here is photo. And this will adjust your camera up and down. So, we'll take a look at that real quick. Yep, so I went down. So we're going to go up. There we go. Well, that really springs it up. So just a couple presses, it's right up. So I'm going to just go ahead and keep it uh, straight up for right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and press record. Um, we're not, we don't got the Wi-Fi going, so I'm having problems with my phone. So we're gonna arm it by pressing in. Okay, one key takeoff is right here, and this is a return to home right here. So you can see that. So all right, I'm gonna see how this thing holds its ground. I've seen a lot of these doing a uh, fishbowl effect, but so far I am not seeing it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a rate. Let me get my phone off here. Yeah, it's starting a little bit of a fishbowl, but I have about 7 mile an hour winds. Um, about a 3 mile an hour constant. So, um, rates is by pressing this. There's second rate right now. I'm going to keep it in second rate. I'm going to bring it up. And let me see if I did, uh, let me see if I started to record yet or not. We're getting a little bit of a toilet bowl right now, so there it goes. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it back down, and I'm going to go and calibrate it. Okay, guys, I went and recalibrated it real quick because it started to do a toilet bowl. So I'm going to try this out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Recalibrate the, the controller just to be safe. Okay, that's calibrated. Let me do a one key takeoff. So we're still getting some fish bowl here. Let me take it out a little bit here. We're in only first rate right now. Yep, it does do that wacko thing. Yep, there it goes on its own. Okay, I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Bring it back towards me. So we definitely are having a problem with it. So I'm the third one right now that's been reviewing this. And as you can see, it gets kind of crazy. I'm going to put it in second rate. And here we go on the fishbowl deal. It's trying to find its position. And there it goes. This, I'm not doing that. It's going all crazy itself. So what I want to try to do is say forget the camera. I'm going to sh shut it off. I'm going, to, I'm going to try to bring this back down myself. I'm not doing a return to home. So let me bring this down myself. So let's go ahead and bring this down. Shut it off real quick. I got soft grass. That's why it flipped over. So this is what I'm going to do is we're going to go and do this. We're going to let me shut off the video. I'm going to unplug this thing. And I'm taking the camera off, guys. Okay? I'm taking the camera off. I don't need it. So, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go ahead and, and redo the calibration. Down. Press that once. Okay, it's flashing for me to calibrate. It's slow. So, when that's going slow like that, you turn it until it goes to a faster rate of speed. Okay, so it's faster now. So we're going to take this up. We're going to spin this. Okay, until it stops flashing. Okay, it stopped flashing. Alright, so we're going to try this without the Wi-Fi camera. Let's see if I can, you know, my CMAX8 
W had the same problem and it was the Wi-Fi camera that caused it so let me see if it's interfering with this so uh, let me go and do one key takeoff um, double check to make sure my camera is filming okay we are filming sorry about that just want to make sure so I can catch this on film one key takeoff okay here we go get it up here a little bit see if we can find its ground here and if it ain't the camera, then SEMA has a problem with the bird itself. All right, let me, it's kind of found its spot now. I really don't like that it don't have telemetry on here to let me know how many satellites, if we're locked in good. All, I, all we have to depend on is a light on top to go solid. So let me go out here a little bit, bring it up a little bit, and then stop. Okay, there it goes. Oh, we're gonna go in that tree. I gotta bring it towards me. All right, it almost went in that tree, so that was not me. I had to stop it. I almost lost in that tree. Let me go out here and do it now, and I'm gonna stop. Okay, it stopped that time. The first time it's doing uh, just like uh, DJ Soul Force and uh, and also Pete uh, from uh, RC Escape. They both reviewed this. And I wanted to try some different stuff, go without the camera, try doing the GPS again. And you know what? There's something wrong with this bird, guys. So um, let's go ahead and head out here and stop. There we go. See? There it goes. I'm not doing it. Uh-oh. Well, i got to bring it back out. Oh, my God. I almost lost in that tree. It wants to go for that tree for some reason. Oh, there it goes. It almost went. I barely saved that right now. Hey, this is not going to work. It's not. I'm not going to do any more tests, guys. There's nothing to test. I'm going to end up losing in one of these trees, and there's there's kids over here, and I'm not going to take a chance. So um, there's definitely something wrong with this. So I'm going to let these kids, uh, this lady and her kid, go by here. Um, I'll go out here. I'll try headless mode, which this is going to just be senseless. Right, there's a one there's the land button let's see if that works I just don't even want to test it right now it's it pretty much upset me it ain't even shutting off there it goes finally all right I'm gonna to try to take off myself armed it by going up let's go up and see if it locks in they take it up a little higher okay it's going kind of crazy and I'm gonna stop there it goes. There it goes, guys. Coming back towards me. I'm not doing it. Okay, I got. Oh, I can't. Almost couldn't save it. Nope. It's going by itself. There we go. I barely got it back, and it's fish bowling. So, uh, Sema, if you're watching this, this X8 Pro, there's something wrong with it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I'm not going to try to uh, sell a product or put a product out there that is not performing. And so far, I am the third one on this, and nobody has even made it past, um, you know, a couple minutes without it having a problem. So I can't even make it uh, 10 seconds without it trying to uh, go all wonky and fly off on me. So I don't know what's going on, guys. Um, I just, you know, I don't know what to even tell you. I'm not even going to try the return to home because, you know, I'm going to end up losing it in one of these houses or one of these trees um, because I almost didn't bring it back from right there. It keeps wanting to go over there and land in those trees. I mean, I could try a return to home over here, see what happens. I'm stopping right there. Okay, I'm going to press return to home. Oh, that's, I'm oh, sorry, hold on. There we go. Bring it up a little bit. I don't want to go too high. So, uh, look at it. Uh, it's going crazy. Nope, nope, nope. Stop. Return to home. I can't even do return to home. Look, that's doing it itself. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta set it down, guys. At least it's letting me set it down. Uh, I can't even stop it. Holy cow. Wow. Yeah, I. Uh, can't even fly it. Can't do nothing with it. It's this thing's shot, man. There's nothing you can do with it. Already flashing red lights, so 
you know, I don't even know what that means. I didn't even look that up. So that means the battery's already going dead. Wow. All right, guys. Um, I don't know what else to test. I'll talk amongst the, the rest of the guys that have one of these and see if there's something we could figure and come back to you about it. So uh, right now, um, stay away from it, guys, you know, until they can get it figured out or if, uh, you know, see if there's a, a glitch in here that SEMA thinks that they can fix. Because um, I don't even think, I don't even know if there's a firmware or anything in here. No, there's not even a thing to do any kind of firmware or nothing. So there's no updating anything. Um, so you're pretty much, this thing's pretty much uh, done for. It's got to go back to the square one to the factory, man. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I was hoping I was going to uh, do a compass, uh, uh, you know, do a different compass uh, test and do a Wi-Fi removal of the camera and see if it was interfering with uh, TX, but that is not it. So, uh, you know, hopefully SEMA sees this. Uh, they could take these birds back and fix them because, uh, you know, uh, there's definitely something wrong with it. So um, I'll catch you guys again. All right, guys, this is my conclusion. Definitely a problem with the SEMA X8 Pro with GPS due to manufacturer. I don't believe that it is uh, anything else but uh, a SEMA problem. So uh, remember, guys, don't try to blame uh, the, the third party that's sending the product, you know, the distributor. So uh, this is definitely manufacturer. So this, uh, you know, RC uh, moment that uh, sent me this, it's not their fault. And uh, I've seen some other companies that sent this out to a few guys, uh, like uh, DJ Soul Force had a problem with uh, his, so I'll leave his link with that video so you can compare it. And also uh, Pete from RC Escape had the same problem with his, uh, so I'll leave his link there so you can compare uh, videos. So, all right, well, I do appreciate it, RC Moment, uh, for sending this to me. I hope we can work together again. I know it's not your fault, and it's not my fault. This is, like I said, due to manufacturing problem. So, um, you know, this is something that I can't promote as a good product at this time. So, you know, guys, until I, I'm hoping SEMA will see this, and hopefully we can get the word back to SEMA so they can go and figure out these birds and come up with a situation to fix this. So... All right, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You know, God bless. Cheers and happy flying.